going on everyone? My name is Matt and welcome back to day 5 of Vlogmas. Today is a very special episode because I'm finally posting the second episode of Reading Your Comments. If you didn't see the first episode then I strongly advise you go back and watch that one first and then come back to this video because every comment in this video was left on the last video. So let's get started. Okay, so before I get into the comments from the last video, there was one comment on YouTube that was replied to me that I just had to share with you. So this is that comment. To give you a bit of background on this comment, about a week ago Smosh released a video where they got pranked by The Hunger Games and this guy called Dylan. Dylan actually makes YouTube videos and his channel's in the description and I commented, I'm glad that Smosh brought me here. It was such a sweet video to watch. I hope you continue to enjoy making videos. Consider me a new subscriber. And Will Smith himself replied, I bet you get laid a lot. As if that isn't enough, someone then replies to Will Smith with the best comment I have ever seen. His name is far from film. Not a lot. <laughs> Oh, that was too good. Anyway, anyway, on to the comments. And like I said in the last video, if you do want to be featured in the third episode of Reading Your Comments, which will be up in a week or two, then be sure to leave your comments in the comment section of this video below. So let's get started. It's been here since about 6,000 subscribers, and I'm happy I pressed the subscribe button. It means a lot to me that you've been here that long, because that's nearly a year, so thank you so much. I'm glad that you're still here and coming back to the channel and enjoying the new videos that I get to put out, because my videos have improved so much from a year ago. Like, I don't really understand how so many people came to my channel last year, because my videos actually actually weren't that good, especially compared to how good they are now. So thank you, thank you for your comment. To be honest, I can't wait for you to be a big time YouTuber so I can be like, yo, I'm an OG viewer. I don't know what OG viewer means, if anyone wants to explain it to me in the comments then let me know, but it sounds awesome, so thank you. All you viewers out there, you are OG. Hopefully that's good. How can you not have so many bloopers by talking so fast? Also, a blooper video sounds interesting. Every couple of videos, there is a line in that video that will not resonate with me, and it will take me about 10 times to say it, but the problem is, when I'm by myself, it's not actually that entertaining. I just compose myself, sit down, think about it for a minute, and then try and say it again, usually failing when I'm in that sort of mood, but then when I get it right, I get it right and I move on, so it's actually not that funny. However, when I film videos with other people like Steve or Jasmine, there are quite a few bloopers, and they are quite funny, but unfortunately, I don't have the original footage of any of the other videos that I've done with those guys, so maybe I'll do that in the future. If Connor Franta and Joe Sugg had a baby, it would look like you. Great, <laughs> I guess. I think that's that's cool. I'm Connor and Joe's love child. Mm, that's what it is. I hope you're content with the subscribers you have now, and it's a big achievement, but I just want to say you deserve a lot more. First of all, can I say thank you because I see your comments everywhere on all of my videos, and it really means a lot. And yes, I am content with my subscribers. I love each and every one of you. And sometimes I forget how much of an achievement it is, how much work I've put into it, because I've put so much into it over the years, and it's really paid off. So thank you again to everyone. I don't want these videos just to turn into me saying thank you for all your nice comments, but thank you. Hello, I'm new and I like your vids, so I'm a new viewer. <laughs> and question, what is your favourite colour? Mine's purple, and also my name is Matt. We'll ignore the little purple bit there, shall we? So first of all, hi Matt, welcome to the channel. I hope you continue to enjoy what I put out there and that you stick around for a long time. It's pretty cool that your colour's purple, although I'm colourblind, so I don't really see purple very well. I pretty much just assume every purple is blue, but we'll forget about that. My favourite colour is actually orange, and that's because when I was younger, I used to play football in a bright orange orange kit. The standard of football we played is questionable if you saw my ultimate football challenge video. <laughs> your enthusiasm makes me so happy. My question, hmm. what is your favourite song at the moment? I love your videos so, so much. That is a really sweet comment. That really, really makes me happy. But my favourite song at the moment, I gotta be honest, I have a real thing for Drag Me Down by One Direction. It's really catchy. There's not many lyrics in it, like it's often repeated quite a lot, but I really like listening to it. And when it comes on in the bath, I'm happy. I also like Wasn't Expecting That by Jamie Lawson, and I'm really into Connor Maynard's cover of Adele's Hello. In fact, I haven't even heard the original Adele version. I've just heard Connor Maynard's with that rap in the middle, and I really like that. Shout out to Jasmine's brother for showing me that the other day. Did anyone else try to do the hand heart that way and fail? Okay, let's give you a quick tutorial. I've tried to teach this to Jasmine before, so bear in mind if you have small hands, this might be quite difficult for you, but let's get started. You take your middle fingers, yep, that's brilliant, you put them down like this, and then all you do is join with your index finger. Like that. That is that is my hand heart. I've experimented with hand hearts over the years. We've tried this, that, that, that used to be a thing that I tried to do. But this is what resonated with me. In fact, I was going to have this on a t-shirt that said, A picture is worth a thousand likes. Thought that was quite cool, but that never happened. Either way, that's how you do it. Woo! Emma! Ma! Jackson, check out Matt's channel! It's awesome! <laughs> I cannot tell you how difficult it is to do that voice without warming up your throat. Like, seriously, his vocal cords have had so much practice with that, and mine just haven't. So, yeah, sorry about that. Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm good. I'm really good. I'm loving filming videos at the moment, and as it's Vlogmas, I get to film so, so much and edit lots. So, yeah, I'm great. Christmas is coming. How are you? Let me know about that in the comments too. And like I said in the last video, if you do see another comment that you like, give it a thumbs up, and why not reply to them and start a little conversation, because internet friends 
are superior. What inspired you to name your channel Far From Film? Now, if you have your own YouTube channel, you know that the struggle to create your own name is one of the hardest things you have to do. Now, back when I made this channel, you couldn't just use Google Plus to change your channel name to anything, even if someone else already had that name. You had to think of something original. I don't know how it came into my head, but I thought, hey, I want to make short films, but my videos are far from the quality of a film. Like, my videos are so bad that it's far from what film should be. So essentially, my name is making fun of my filmmaking ability nearly three years ago. <laughs> and at the time, it did sound really weird, but I tried to type it out on the keyboard, and it went so smoothly. Like, seriously, type far from film, it goes out really nicely. I'm not even gonna lie. You look older than my dad. Okay, so I know I've grown a little bit of facial hair for November, which is going by the way, so just, just calm down about that. I've had so many comments telling me to shave, just, just stop. But let's take a younger age that you could possibly be and say you're about 10 years old. Let's say your dad had you when you were 20 years old. Well, your mum had you, but your, your dad helped, but... I won't give you the talk on that, that's that's their job. That would make him at least in his 30s. Do I really look like 30 years old? Like seriously? <laughs> I don't know, I suppose that's a good thing. Can you do parodies of music videos in the future or something musical on your channel? Okay, so for those of you that don't know, and I can't believe I'm bringing up this video again, but I did a video earlier on this year called Songs That Made My 2014, and it's basically me singing a cappella, which was probably a mistake, but it was easier that way, singing a cappella my favorite songs from the previous year. I didn't sing terribly well in that video, I'll be honest. I would say I'm a better singer now, but a lot of you commented some really nice things in that video and it really means a lot. So you can go back and watch that. And I'm thinking I might make that a yearly thing. So if I'm able to actually get the courage to make that video, I will make another video saying songs that made my 2015 and sing songs that meant a lot to me this year. Also, I did a few songs with Joe, the British historian, if you also want to go and check those out. So yes, plenty of music on my channel and there might be some more in the future. I've definitely tried parodies before. I would say next to none of you know that in 2011, I think it was, me and my brother actually filmed our own Friday parody by Rebecca Black. It got quite a few views, like, straight away. It got, like, a hundred views in an hour, which was huge for me back then because I had, like, ten subscribers, so it was crazy. But then, when I found out that someone at school found out about it, I removed the video straight away, and I totally regret that because I would have loved to see how terrible it was. It was literally terrible. It was a Christmas version of Rebecca Black, so we were like, it's Christmas, Christmas, giving out joy on Christmas. Ah. It was just awful. It was a good idea though, I think. I actually found you looking for films that take me far away to up my mood as I was thinking about suicide, but you saved my life. Thank you so much. Also, you gave me the courage to start my own YouTube channel. Thanks again. Comments like this really get to me. If you watched my Vlogmas Day 25 video last year, you'll know that I had a comment where someone was speaking to me about how I helped them get through lung cancer. And it's comments like this that really make me think. They make me be thankful for the life that I have, and they also make me grateful that I'm able to influence you in such a positive way. It's horrible when anyone ever considers suicide or anything like that, but please, if you're ever struggling, you can come and talk to me, talk to anyone around you, and they will help. But the fact that these silly videos can help you really means a lot to me, so thank you for your comment, thank you for letting me know, because it means a great deal to me that I know that I'm helping people out. So I hope you continue to enjoy my videos, and good luck! with your YouTube channel, I will support you all the way. This sentence is written in Swedish. Try to say it. Snälla forsat med hörn serian pistad du bast. Oh, that was great. Matt, I have a joke. Wanna hear it? Yeah, yeah, I totally do. Let's go. Oh, it's okay. I just forgot it. If I remember, I shall update you. Great. Why, why would you do that for me? I'm really really lacking in jokes right now. But hey, if you want to see some jokes, then go check out yesterday's Vlogmas video where I went through 10 of the best slash worst Christmas jokes I could find on the internet. Wow, that was actually a really, really good comment because it allowed me to plug yesterday's video. That's awesome. Are you watching Your Grammar Sucks 100 by Jax Films? Also, hi. Hi. Yes, I have watched it. I watched it once while eating my lunch. It was a massive lunch. I thought, you know what? I'm just going to sit down and watch Your Grammar Sucks 100. And I didn't really like it. Just realized that sounded like I said I didn't really like it. I did really like it. <laughs> Matt, I don't think you're mature enough to become an adult. Sorry. I agree. I'm such a child, but I'm gonna be an adult in like four months. So, uh, like we said in the last video, pray for the world. <laughs> you have plus one biceps. Okay, so this is another Jacksepticeye reference. Yeah, sure. I mean, not to sound like a douche, I have worked really hard on my body and I was gonna post a fitness video in November, but I never actually got around to it. Like a how to get fit video, not necessarily a video of me like doing press ups and stuff like that, but me giving you advice because I've given people advice in messages and a lot of people still ask me each day. So not each day, such a lie, probably each month. So I thought I'd make a video on that. So if you wanna see that, then let me know in the comments. Well, that does it for this episode of reading your comments. I really enjoyed filming that one. That one felt good. I think it's such a great addition to Vlogmas. That was 
That was awesome. But that does it for this video. If you did enjoy it, then be sure to smack that like button. And as always, I will see you in tomorrow's video, which is going to be 10 things you never thought about. So get excited. Bye, guys.